WBAL TV 11 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Tom Tasselmeyer. Well, we've got Oriole baseball in downtown Baltimore this evening. Twins are in town and it's not going to be too bad. It doesn't look like we'll have to deal with too much in the way of wet weather. Cloudy skies and comfortable temperatures. 69, a light southeast breeze at Camden Yards right now at about 7 miles an hour. And HD Doppler doesn't show any rain threatening the ballpark at this hour. So good weather for uh, spring baseball in downtown Baltimore. It'll be overcast, uh, but it looks like the showery weather is now down around Ocean City, lower eastern shore up toward the coast of New Jersey and moving away and to the west of us. There's a little isolated cell down there in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. But again, that's not really moving in our direction. Even though the rain moved out earlier today, the clouds hang around and that produces cooler temperatures. We're only running in the low to mid 60s on, 90, on the 95 corridor from Aberdeen to Baltimore. And then you hit the low 70s in northern Virginia, a cool 59 at Oakland in the far western part of the state at this hour. And the showery weather continues to track off the coast and away. Now tomorrow, another batch of rain is likely to push up from the south and move into our area. And then that'll be followed by more cloudy conditions on Wednesday and another round of rain on Thursday. And we're not looking for a whole lot of sunshine in the forecast here for the next couple of days leading into Memorial Day weekend. For tonight, cloudy and mild, 50s in the suburbs, 60s downtown. The winds light and variable, only averaging about five miles an hour. So temperatures mild, but the sky's cloudy. And you can see the rain from earlier today is now off the Long Island coast, moving through southern New England. Kind of tapers off a little bit to the west of us, but again, the cloudy skies prevail. And this front is in no hurry to clear the region. It'll kind of scoot on through, stall, fade away, and then this new system down to the south of us will ride up along that slow moving front and bring yet another batch of rain into the area for midweek. 67 to 72 tomorrow, a cloudy morning, a wet afternoon, probably going to slow the afternoon rush hour down just a little bit. Northeast winds at 10 miles an hour, sunrise on Tuesday morning behind cloudy skies at 547. Winds on the bay tomorrow out of the northeast with waves averaging around a foot. High tide at 5 in the morning and 5 in the afternoon and water temperatures inching up a little bit mid 60s now across the central and upper parts of the bay. Western Maryland heading into the uh, middle part of the week 58 tomorrow. They actually may see some sun in Western Maryland Wednesday getting their temperature up to 62 degrees and the rain that we pick up here in the central and eastern parts of the state tomorrow will most likely miss the mountains. But on the eastern shore the rain arrives in the afternoon tomorrow 70 and then a mix of sun and clouds on Wednesday 74 down at the beach. They've got the best chance for rain tomorrow. It'll be kind of a wet afternoon and evening with a high only in the mid 60s and then mostly cloudy skies on Wednesday. So the seven day forecast for Baltimore, which is going to take us through Memorial Day weekend. We've got rain showers tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday, I think generally just a cloudy day might be a sprinkle around in the morning, but most of the day just cloudy and could even get a little sun to squeeze through. But then we're right back into the clouds with showers and thunderstorms likely Thursday. Rain showers taper off Friday. Highs stay in the 70s. We hit the Memorial Day weekend and a partly cloudy Saturday that might end up being the best day of the weekend before the showers start to pop up again on Sunday. And while it's not going to be a washout, there may be some scattered showers in the area on Monday.